All right, we barbecued some brats. I'm almost done with the first hour of smoking. I've added two handfuls of uh, apple wood chips, and I'm about to crack my second beer. At this rate, it'll take about six hours, you know, about an, uh, a beer an hour. Maybe it is kind of kind of hot out too, so we might have to up that accordingly. July 4th in 4K with Johnny C. Right, we're two beers in, and we are one hour and two minutes in. In about 30 minutes, I'm gonna take the ham out and wrap it in tin foil, and then put it um, in there. I didn't do anything to the ham. I didn't put any rub on it, put any mustard, any glaze, or nothing like that. I'm just smoking this ham. That's all I wanted to do. So that's all I'm doing, giving it a go. The next time I smoke some food, then I will look into putting a rub or something else on it. But right now it's just smoke. <clears throat> all right, um, because this is 4K, my computers, they'll edit it, but it's pretty choppy on my end. And they'll process it just fine and upload it just fine with my faster internet. So this this isn't going to be edited in very good. I'm not saying any of my other videos are edited very good. <clears throat> but I'm going to leave that burp in because I'm not going to take the time to have it chop along. Just wrapped the ham in tin foil. And now for the next four hours and 15 minutes I am just going to add handfuls of um, wet wood chips to the smoker I'm done spraying it with apple cider vinegar and anything else we're just gonna we're just gonna let it buck expectations are very low for this first round of uh, smoking then the next round I'm gonna do more fancy things I'm gonna drink another beer and we'll just this this is all I'm doing all day sitting right here with my water and wood chips bag of chips that my smoker and then drinking beer what I'm doing from my beer fridge we're uh, sitting at about four o'clock so in theory there's two more hours left of smoking two and a half we're gonna give it till 630 uh, my kid shit in the pool I added two more chlorine tablets to there on top of the combined one that was already in there and uh, I looked at it and one of those chlorine tablets are good for 9,800 gallons our pool is 2,000 so the uh, you know multi tens of thousands of gallons of filtering power that these chlorine tablets have the the two extra ones in there are going to uh, take care of everything I'm gonna grab another beer. I think that's beer number six. Uh, good to go. So we ended this buffet the other day. It was like $34 for me, my wife, and my child. And you kind of get what you pay for at buffets. It was a Asian buffet. And I had a bunch of sushi, uh, room temperature sushi that had been sitting for a while. Um, I knew that I knew it was gonna be busy later and the toilet and it was uh, I, I pooped for like 20 minutes straight and now my daughter has pooped in the pool twice today my daughter has my wife's appetite and my digestive system This is beer number six. Yeah. My, my daughter is 
screaming for me right now for a lot of balloons. One second. Beer number seven. Hour number 4.5. Make a little gold online, so be sorry. Be sorry. I'm gonna check the uh, smoker real quick. I threw some more uh, wet wood on there. This ham is gonna be tasty. I'm a smoking and grilling master. Now my child yells for me, so I must go. 4K. July 4th. All right, to properly smoke a ham, you need uh, approximately six hours, uh, some wood, uh, apple cider vinegar, and um, seven beers, seven McGolden Lights is what I had. And we are in the final 12 minutes. I sprayed some more um, apple cider vinegar on it, you know, turned it up to medium a little bit, and uh, we're gonna feast soon. It's good. This is 4th of July in 4K. I've said that 1500 times. Yep. Okay, we're seven beers deep. Smoker's off. Opened up, venting out, you know, to cool it down. Ham's sitting at about 180, which is perfect. And uh, neighbors are here. I tried to invite other neighbors, but they were already eating tasty veal and uh, porterhouse steak. I don't remember. I had some veal and I had some of the steak. It was mighty good too. I had it with garlic, it was pretty good. A lot of garlic. Uh, but now I'm gonna go cut this ham and um, I'm gonna eat it. I love ham. All right, it was a, uh, I would say it was pretty much a, a, a success. Um, learned a lot. I didn't put any rub on the ham. Uh, I, I didn't take into account the actual skin or the football as I called it of the ham and uh, It was juicy. It was fall off the bone good Tasted like Thanksgiving obviously because I did not do any type of rub or seasoning or anything that like that all it was is um, the wood and it took <clears throat> one second one two three it took uh six hours and nine beers to smoke a 13 pound ham This is the aftermath. Here's the burnt chips. Here's the smoker. Look at that, that's that's good. And there's some ash down there, some unburnt wood chips. I'm gonna let these buck, those can stay in there. Cleaned out that though. Probably get a cast iron one, possibly next. Now, for the rest of the evening, uh, we're gonna play, hey, is that a firework or is that a gunshot? Because we live in the city. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yay.